Let's talk about sewing awesome pants for your sons. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from ElizabethMadeThis.com helping you sew something creative. If that is up your alley, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So as part of Sew Man Pants that I'm doing with my friend Viv of Stitches and Seams and Natita of Natural Dane and Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles, we are talking all about sewing men's pants. My husband is not particularly interested in clothes and when he is, I tend to make like big honking projects like a suit or like big jackets for outerwear kind of stuff. So instead, I'm gonna talk about sewing for my sons. So I have been a boy mom for a really long time and I was a boy mom for a really long time before my daughter was born. So I have, I have some unique perspective, I think, on talking about boys' pants. And I have seen a lot of holes in knees in my life <laughs> thus far and I have got some really strong thoughts about like how we should go about sewing pants for, for boys and honestly I can sewing up pants sounds like a really big to do but if you cut out a lot of them at, at a given time like you can actually like go through it really quickly I remember when my when my oldest son was really little there was one nap time where I cut out maybe like six pairs of pants or something like that it was just with little elastic waists and I made them all up with during during nap time so you can actually be super efficient with your time if you batch cut but let's talk about things that are gonna make sewing your own boys pants like really really cool and also i'm going to give you my favorite my favorite resource for boys for boys patterns and i'm going to show you how to make a really cool pocket at, in the sewing room so let's talk about some things that make boys pants really awesome okay so number one like keep it fun keep it fun you know boys pants i think are so boring if you go to the store like you get what do you get there's like denim and which there's a reason for that. <laughs> but you know, if you're gonna go through the trouble of making boys pants or something like that, like just just keep it fun, you know? Just fun, like pick, a fun, pick a fun, pick a fun print. Like nobody would keep have it, this kind of pants. look for something and, that they're interested you know, it's just, in. It's just really, really special. Like, I think when any time that you can pocket, sew for your like, children, those are all the fun things that we do. It's really, really nice, like it's a great. So those are really good. And I think that's just, that. those are just fun things to keep in mind when you're sewing for children in general. Just keep it fun, don't be too serious about it. Okay, the other thing about boys is that you wanna pick fabrics that are really hard wearing. Canvas, corduroy, good twill, denim, all of those things. Just something that's gonna take a lot of abuse and still be okay at the end, or at least like not show dirt so much. You know, you probably don't wanna like pick some like white fancy wool or something like that because boys are gonna mess it up in like three seconds. I mean, all kids are, but yeah, boys, oh man. Boys are professional hole makers. <laughs> just make a knee patch. I mean, it's so wonderful. You can just take the same, the same fabric or similar fabric and just make a square of it like right around the knee area. It's gonna add more stability in that area and it gives you an extra layer of fabric. And literally all that I did for, for this was cut a second, a second piece of fabric that goes over the main part of the pants and it's just it, the top is turned under and just top stitch along the top and across the bottom and then you just sew it into the side seam and that's it so it's really really easy and if you were going to do this on a regular pair of pants then just they just make it like a patch so turn under the the top and the bottom and the sides and then just sew it around the rectangle and again it's just going to give you an extra layer of fabric so when your kid inevitably is in the playground and takes a header, uh, he's probably, maybe you have a chance that you won't make a huge, a huge hole in one day, in one day. When I've, when I've done this before for my sons in the past, their, their pants last a whole lot longer and it's a lot easier slash time efficient to do this now than when you've got a big gash to hand and you try and patch it. I've done that and I hate it. It's like the most horrible, like, I hate patching pants. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. The other thing you want to keep in mind with with boys is just adding lots of pockets. Boys love to put pockets. Lo love pockets. I mean, I think all kids love pockets. I know my daughter goes around and everything. Every time she sees a she sees a garment that has pockets, she has to point them out and put her hands in them. And I know my youngest son especially. He always has stuff in his pockets, like rubber bands, paper clips 
Legos, crayons, anything, anything. So any kind of cool pockets that have lots of space in them, like those are really, really fun details. They look, they look wonderful too. When, when you see ready to wear pants, they've got all kinds of cool pockets for boys. And it's so easy to, to just, to just find a pocket style that you like and put it on where you want it to be on any, any boys pants pattern. So I am going to show you how to make these, these pockets. So these are on a back pocket. And you can see they've got like these little tiny this, this darts at the bottom of the pocket. And what that does is that nice it creates more space pocket. down there so that I can put like actually something pretty big there. I mean, you could put like probably like a stuffed animal or something like that. These are for my oldest son. He's probably not carrying around stuffed animals in his pocket. But uh, he might carry a ball around or something like that. Uh, it's just, it, you know, it's it's really nice and easy. And then we're going to put some Velcro on him too. And again, Velcro, super kid friendly. There's no weird closures that they have to struggle with. It's just super helpful. Okay, so we're good. let's go head on down to the sewing room. And I will show you how to do that. And I will come back with my last tip about boys pants. And I'm going to share with you my favorite resource for sewing for boys sewing patterns. Okay, so to make a pocket like this, the first thing you want to do is obviously like cut out your pockets. You can see this one is not quite a rectangle. It's it's a little bit more of a little trapezoid. So these bottom corners are a little bit wider than the top corners. You can certainly start out with a, with a rectangle and maybe just angle it out a little bit if you want to make this, this, this style of pocket. But then you want to Give yourself a good like three quarters to an inch up at the top and press it and press it back towards the wrong side. And then give yourself three eighths of an inch on each side, on each of the sides. And then down at the bottom, we're gonna cut out the, we're gonna cut out the corners. So looking at the pattern piece for the pocket, you can see it's just kind of a little bit of a rectangle. It's a little bit wider at the bottom and then it's got the little darts on the sides. So if I just take a piece of paper, you can just kind of draw this out to kind of get an idea of what this might look like. So I, you'd have your, your rectangle-ish looking, looking pocket and then you want to draw two little darts on the bottom side of the pocket and the dart legs need to be equal. So just make sure that they're the the dart legs are ending at the same place on the pocket so that they are nice and even. And when I cut this out, I realized that my dart legs were not 100% even. But go ahead and finish the top side of the pocket and press over all of the seam allowances to the back side. Again, I have just 3 eighths of an inch on the outsides of the pockets and about an inch at the top. And you can see how those, those darts fold out towards the edges and we're, they're going to make our nice dimensional pocket. So the first thing we want to do is fold the pocket over back on itself up at the top seam allowance. So fold the hem allowance back towards the wrong side back on itself and we're just going to stitch right along that the seam allowance with a 3 8 inch seam allowance just right at the top to the edge of that surge, that surged line. And then when you've done that, trim the top corners and do that for both sides of the pocket and then we're going to turn the hem back towards the right side and then just poke out the corners with a chopstick or whatever pokey thing that you have that's your favorite thing to use and when we do that it's going to make for a nice clean pocket and it's going to pull all of the the hem allowances that we've pressed towards the wrong side of the fabric so it'll be nice and easy when we go in and start to top stitch everything and stitch down your hem back stitching at the start and the stop of the hem and so now we want to fold out those corners of our darts and just bring the, the edges of the legs together and we want to start from the wide end and we're going to stitch right off the edge of the, of the dart. And go ahead and shorten your stitch length as you get there and do that for both sides. And you can see that when we do that we have got, we've built some nice dimension into our pocket. And so now we want to flip everything over to the wrong side and at this point you want to fold all of those hem allowances that we've already pressed towards the wrong side. Everything's all getting ready and now grab some grab a piece of velcro and we're working with the velcro kind of in the middle of the top of the pocket and we're just stitching it down. I'm going to stitch it in all the way around that little rectangle and then I'm going to stitch from the corner once I've stitched all around all four sides of the rectangle and I'm going to stitch down in the other side of the and one side of the, one of the short sides of the rectangle and stitch to the other corner and then stitch one more rectangle side up and that'll finish it off with a nice like X which is super secure it's gonna it's not going anywhere people it's not going anywhere 
So now go ahead and grab your pocket. And at this point, you probably should have, uh, yeah, to put these in when they're flat. Don't try and do what I'm doing here, which is which is stitch on your pocket after the fact. Definitely do this before it's it's all put together. This should not be your last step in making pants. But anyway, we're just stitching down the pocket in place where we want it on the back side of the pants. I'm going to pivot at the corners. I am going to just keep moving around my pants. And when I get to the other corner, I'm going to pivot up the other side and I'm going to back stitch at the start and the stop of the pocket. We're just stitching around in like a little U, which is going to put our pocket right in place. And I'm not using any pins because I'm because that Velcro is holding my pocket in place, but feel free to pin if you want to. Keep stitching. You can see how hard this is to do while you're trying to do this as the last step. So don't do what I'm doing here. <laughs> and then just clip your threads and we're good. You can see now we've got this beautiful pocket and it looks just great. Okay, so hands down, my most favorite resource for sewing for boys is October Design. October Design is a magazine pattern company and they are out of Finland and they do absolutely the best job of putting together just patterns for all kids, really. And they have stuff for women too and now they actually, they, they've launched the family edition which comes out once a year but this is their this is their current issue right now for the, for the kids but let me just let's just run through this so you can kind of see and get an idea for it so they have patterns for girls in here too but they they honestly they do such a great job of balancing boys versus girls styles I don't think there's another pattern company that has done as good of a job as as they have at doing that particular thing. There's just there's stuff in every issue for girls and for boys. They all have really really wonderful details in them and there's there's great like classic styles, there's good like urban kind of styles. They all have beautiful directions. The instructions are clear, they're brief, but they're really easy to follow. So if you haven't you know, sewn a lot. I like you're in good hands here. You're definitely in good hands. And plus, like all these things are just really, really, really nice. I have, I I've subscri subscribed a, a little bit, but then I just end up using their patterns for like for for years. They're so good. They're so good. They're kind of like the Berta style for for kids. But you can see, I mean, they've got stuff from baby babies all the way up through tweens. So there's there's kind of something for everybody here. And they do, I mean, really, truly an exceptional job with, with boys stuff. And I will pull out one of my things that I've made for, I, I'm going to pull out the pants that I made for my son so you can get an idea of some of the awesome details that they have. So these are some of the October pants that I made for my son recently. So I've got a pair of, of these in corduroy and also in a nice twill. And I've already talked to you about the knee patches. So again, this is just a, a rectangle of fabric that's over the knee area and it's really, really big. So I mean, th these are like just hard wearing details. But then one of the also really cool things about this particular pattern is that it has this flared leg. So the idea behind this, and they tell you this in the, actually in the magazine, is that with with the actual flare, you can put it over your boots if you want to. I mean, I guess in Finland, right? You're probably wearing snow boots a lot. So it is here in Colorado too that, that snow boots are kind of part of our life. So then they have you sew on a little patch of Velcro so you can fold that over. So if you don't want to wear it with the flared leg out, you totally don't have to. So if you wanted to stuff that into your boot, you could do that. So, I mean, that's just really, it's just a thoughtful detail to, to even think, like, how are you going to deal with that kind of thing? And this, this pair does not have, doesn't have fold over. It doesn't have buttonhole elastic on the inside, but it does still give you an adjustable waist. And how they managed that was with these waist tabs. And actually I have some strings to cut. <laughs> so it's a it's kind of a half belt and it goes it's cut into the you stitch it on through one of the belt loops 
and then it folds it goes through another belt loop on the front and then it folds back on itself so not only is it a kind of a decorative detail but again it kind of helps you adjust the waist if you have if you have a waist that you know needs some adjustment okay, so the last thing that i can tell you about sewing boys pants is that buttonhole elastic is your total friend a lot of times a lot of times pants that you buy that you buy have waists that are like gigantic i mean they just they just cut the they cut the pants and they're just totally straight and they have no shape to them whatsoever if you have a child with a smaller waist buttonhole elastic is such a fabulous hack it's it is something that's going to go on the inside of the waistband and you can see there's a there's a little there's a little buttonhole that the elastic goes through and then I threaded the elastic through and I kind of anchored it with a few stitches at center back when I sewed the waistband on. And if I take, if I kind of let the elastic relax, see the waistband is not, it's not as, it's not as gathered. But if you have a child with a smaller waist, which is, it's, it's common in my house and I know it's not uncommon in general because I see a waistband, a waistband elastic on a lot of pants. <laughs> or I should say I see buttonhole elastic on a lot of ready to pants. So I think it's a common problem in general for kids. So this is just really nice. And then you sew a button on just a little bit ahead of where, where the buttonhole is. And then it just feeds right through the little, the little holes in the buttonhole and they, they stretch to accommodate the button. It's just such a helpful, helpful thing to have, to have hanging around. And if you're interested, I will, I will make another tutorial about how it is that you can put this in yourself um, when you're making a pair of pants. But those are my favorite things to do with boys' pants. And if you're not, if you haven't checked out all the other stuff with snowman pants, I will put down all the other videos and our wonderful ambassadors that are also hanging out with us on YouTube talking about sewing men's pants and just stuff for our men in general. If you are interested in participating in sew man pants, you have until the end of October to sew something up for the men in your life. Your husband, your sons, your boyfriend, etc. Your grandpa, your baby. It would be wonderful to see little baby stuff. And we have, so it's cool. So you have until then to sew stuff for the men in your life. And then post it on Instagram with the hashtag SewManPants. And then tag me at ElizabethMadeThis underscore stitches and seams underscore at natural dane and at lifting pins and needles and you will be entered to win and there's lots of cool prizes and that's up that's it for sewing man's pants so i hope you found this helpful talking about sewing men's pants and let me know if you are a person who sews pants for the men in your life i'd love to hear about it and yeah go sew some men's pants yeah hey guys i hope you had fun with so man pants so definitely go check out the, all the other stuff that's here on Elizabeth Made This and go sell something creative today. Talk to you later. Bye.